Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. We're in the middle of file three and we've just crossed over into the astral plane. Uh, did our first fight last time. We have a smaller fight here. Uh, I don't know if this one is actually graded. It's just a couple of random smatterings of enemies. Including possibly the one that we were introduced to before that generates a shield for others. Oh, actually... See that little gleam and the sound effect that plays right before an enemy attacks? That's usually the uh, the window to slash an enemy to counter or parry them. I think the system is a little, little bit wonky in this game, just because the game itself is so systems dense. Feels like they crammed as much in as possible at the expense of having just a couple of mechanics that are really, really polished. So there's a lot of complexity in this game, but it, a lot of it's just a, a little bit rough around the edges in how it's and how it functions or how it's executed. The most part really good though. I am starting to understand one of my bigger problems a little bit better though. And it's how wonky the targeting and the camera together tend to be. It's not quite a chimeric signal, but it's close. Your legion might be able to do something about it. I can't find another path through there, so you're going to have to try and find out. That's the longest setup for the easiest puzzle in the world. Hey, it worked. I'm guessing your legion did that. Yep, 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 yep. As Great. Long as you've got Shut your up. Legion, <laughs> you should be able to make your way through the astral plane. Okay. Great. Cool, wonderful, we did it. Also, it feels really nice to, while you're in the middle, while you're stuck in the middle of the chest opening animation, to just summon the Legion and clean up anything nearby. Like, it's not terribly useful or necessary, but it's just, it feels nice and efficient to do. Uh, so what I was talking about before. About the targeting in the camera. Uh, the reason why it feels wonky, I think, is because of how little real estate there is on the controller. Uh, it's a pretty buttonsy game, and a consequence of that is that the right stick ends up controlling multiple things. Uh, it switches your target when you're locked on, and then it also controls the camera itself. But one doesn't lock the other off, like in a Souls game or another game that uses the same uh, similar control method. So you can move the camera while locked on, but both moving the camera in combat and target switching is a bit sluggish. A lot of characters in this mission use a lot of words to say very little. Boy, you try keeping this thing upright without one of those? I keep looking. You're doing great. They would make really good Let's Players. <laughs> um, I'm trying to pick up on that thought about the camera. Uh, there's this built-in delay while the game registers and differentiates between moving the right stick to change targets and moving it to it move like the camera. Uh, and that's just the downside of it being not locked and it being contextual. But I feel like those two functions are not normally tied together with this control scheme in this way. So it creates a sort of unique problem. Or at least a unique problem that doesn't have a good solution within the game itself. Like, it wasn't planned for the best. 
Or they just did like a cost-benefit analysis and went, solving this problem creates more problems of its own, it's not that big of a deal, it's fine as is. You already knew that, right? Anyway, that's the last one. And we got a little robo buddy. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. I wish I had some way to repay you. But first, I need to figure out how I'm getting out of here. Hey, you're heading back to the Ark once you find that lady, right? Mind bringing me along? I'll help you out with your rescue. I'm handier than I look, I promise. All right, we've got a civilian to save. So whoever is piloting the drone knows a lot more than they're letting on. They kind of let it slip that they know about Neuron. They seem to know about the Astral Plane and the Chimeras, and they're not too freaked out about any of this, and they got here in the first place somehow. Whereas almost every other civilian, or non-Neuron agent for that matter, because even the cops don't seem to really have a good grasp of what's going on. Everyone is pretty oblivious to what's going on with the Chimeras and the Legions. It's very much like we're running into tons of JoJo civilians. I really like the Reset Era uh, uh, official thread title for this game. It's, uh, Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Okay, we have pretty much everything we want beyond one more chest down here in the corner. Love that because it skips the animation where she's just like, whoa, the Aloha Arn animation. Flailing around near the edge. And sometimes you have to force her over the edge before we take too many steps forward, before we cross that threshold into a cutscene. Let's go into our Legion learning, pick something up. Uh, I still don't have enough money for the perfect chain bind, but I can now get the round sword which is our Virgil Summon Swords ability. I haven't been using the uh, the power boost either, for that matter. Just gotta get into a better habit of spamming this stuff. Or in the case of the Summon Swords, you can use this for some really cool juggles. Or mid-air. Then we'll assign that to Y. And two slots is all we need for now. We can unlock more later. And that's a modifier, by the way. You're holding the Look, Legion button down is. while hitting those to activate the ability. Great! Looks like there's still time to save her. But first, I gotta ask. Don't suppose you know what that's all about, do you? Where did that thing go? Did it just become a wall? Look out! Something's coming! They kill two birds with one stone here, which is pretty cool. Introducing not only the boss, but also uh, these smaller enemies, which don't just function as ads. You fight them first, and then you get some one-on-one -on -one time with the boss. This is also introducing us to another cool little enemy type, though. There we go, come on. Oh, did I not get the call in time? Wow. Not missing that whatsoever. Then we also get a couple of smaller puffers. So Big Doggo calls in small, uh, yeah, small doggos, and small doggos call in small puffers. Ah, shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, the recovery, that's right. The recovery has a call, too, for a, a sick attack. 
can't mix that up with a perfect call, which is a different mechanic that we unlock. That gives you some iframes every now and then, plus that nice old heal. God, that's real convenient. It's gonna become essential later, too. Oops. And one of the problems that we'll be introduced to with these dog enemies is that many of them can stun. Like so. Uh, and that is a trait that the boss shares as well. Shit, the uh, the chain uh, the jump attack knocked the one too far away, so I had to do it again. <laughs> this is not a smooth combo. Oh, I love the the air teching. It really is, like, the heal really does just make it a Zandatsu. No, it makes it that aspect of the Zandatsu, but then the slash from the Zandatsu is a completely different mechanic in this game. Like I said, Platinum just really builds upon itself. There are elements of Revengeance in here, of Bayo, even. There are elements of... Wonderful 101. There's a little bit of scale mound, I think I mentioned. Let me get the sync attack, please. Thank you. I think I got the iframes from that. Very good. And then this will be another. Should always start a boss fight off by activating Iris, by the way, to get the health bar. You can also occasionally learn some useful stuff uh, in Iris mode, too. Also, one thing that is going to be much nicer eventually is uh, the next ability we'll unlock for the Legion, which is the Auto Chain Bind. I think that is great and nearly essential. There are just a few things I tend to prioritize more, like the power-up. It's not the best skill, but it's in the way to getting others, and it's pretty good on its own, especially since we'll have... Uh, more ability slots eventually, and it's just a straight-up buff. The summon swords are always amazing. Uh, some of the perfect calls and the sync attacks, the bonus ones you can unlock uh, and spend gene codes on are very good. Especially because, as I said, you can abuse some sync attacks for iframes. And then the auto chain bind is just amazing. And we'll have it by the end of this file. Which is not in time for the boss. And we are not even nearly done being introduced to new shit and new mechanics, even. We have, like, the, the some of the heaviest mechanical stuff left to, left to learn about still. They do not front load. They really do drip feed a lot of stuff in this game. Makes the pace really strong. Like, one of the strongest suits of Astral Chain. Ooh, ran him into a fireball by accident. I'm trying to just jump to him. Uh oh. Ooh, that's gonna be really bad. Left me with one HP. Sure, that is by design too. Do I have a full? No, this will do that. Oof. Not incredible. On one more. Oh. He stunned me right before the last hit in the combo that would have activated the sync attack. We should be able to just finish this. There we are. Didn't land the finishing blow. This is still going to be an S or an S+. Plus. I'm imagining an S. Not an S+. Plus. This fight is really lenient on the rankings. Like, this one specifically is super easy to S rank or S plus. And I don't know why that is. It's easier than almost any other fight up to this okay, point in terms of just how they reward you with a ranking. Let's get her back to the arc. And then I guess you better go help your friends, huh? I'm picking up a gate nearby. Come on, let's go. Like it knows about gates. That has to be suspicious. Also, it's really nice that, uh, for doing this optional blue objective, 
we get a little bit of a unique interaction here. The drone airlifting her out. Isabella. Okay, so that animation of summoning the Legion and then just tossing it like a lasso? Or a Kasari Gama or something? That's the animation that plays for the auto chain buying. You just swing the Legion around an enemy. And there's no fiddling with, like, collision sizes of enemies or drawing the circle around them. It just happens. It's great. It's one of my favorite abilities for that reason. Cuts out a little bit of awkwardness. We re-emerge to absolute carnage. Ooh. Wait, that's the name of a really good NES or SNES game I haven't played in a long time, is it? No, it's Total Carnage. I think for the SNES. I used to play that over my cousin's house all the time. I need to revisit that game. I can barely hear. Hear the crisis unit. It's not saying anything important. It's just not mixed well. <laughs> Ah, there's nothing. Slash. I thought it was just about to to um, wind up and attack. There should be something big spawning. Maybe not yet. Oof. Not quite. Do the charged attack into the sink. Oh, it's so good. Boom. Boom. Follow-ups. Nope. Really good against these shield enemies, the Gladius mode is. Because of all these stuns. You just go to town on enemies. Oh, look at this cool dude! Feels like this enemy should be called Surter, but it's not. God, it's really cool though. It's also functionally a mini boss for the introduction to it. Yeah, now it's go time. You get the sync attacks, I think. Nope, not quite through that. Did dodge it well enough. Waiting for the spin to win. Nope. Oof, there's the spin. Can't let it kill a civilian doing this. Uh, but I think we fucked up a little bit too hard during the spin, so that'll penalize us. Still really cool. <laughs> I like this enemy a lot, just both in design and its moveset. Especially when you're getting the, the big heavy Gladius on Gladius. Uh, attack? Oh, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Thank God, you made it in time. All that's left is to get them back to the local police. They'll handle the rest. Akira's not too far from there. He could really use your help. This is not the easiest platinum game to commentate over while playing, because there is just a lot going on, a lot more than you might expect from the opening when they don't really give you that many mechanics to play with. Uh, but that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. We'll finish the file next time. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.